They're just messing with us. Well, this is good, though. Now we know no one's died so far. So far? You make it sound like somebody will die at some point. Isn't that obvious? We're all human. Ah, oh, come on. There's no way I'm dying of old age here. Oh, but I guess the vote at 1330 went really well. Sounds like everyone spread the votes out. Wait, forget that for now. Look at your bracelets. Zero, 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 three? Not exactly a happy new year kind of mood, is it? Yeah, there's nothing to be happy about. There is! The death count is zero. That's plenty to be happy over. That being said, how about a celebratory shot? Do you need to rub it in? Oh, that's right. You're still a minor. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, his head. He's got a giant metal orb on his head, remember? Oh, that thing. Well, don't you have some sort of mouth part to open? No. Of course I don't. If it opened, it would have done that along. It's open. Huh? Look, the box. The force quit box. Let's check it out. Why is it open? And what's up with this weird device? Huh, something's displayed on the monitor here. It says, to execute the force quit program, the central control computer must be booted. Central control computer? What if... maybe it's... Hey! Where are you going? Uh... says we're in the quantum computer dome the computers in here run all the functions that run within the shelter why do you know that i can't really tell you why because i don't know what anyway i think they mean this when they say central control computer <laughs> So, what about that thing? Wait, I feel like I'm remembering something. I know. Know what? The way you start up the system. First, we need to get the cover off. There's no way we can insert the plug if we don't. The plug? Please, just shh. The number is... Okay, so we learned it was... 3, 8, 0, 8, and I do apologize if you hear a vacuum cleaner, it's my neighbors. Sometimes I just don't know what sounds are picked up and what are, aren't until... It's all said and done. All right. Ah, it opened. Now all we have to do is insert the plug here. So where is this plug? Hmm, I think if we input the right numbers here. What? What? Wait. What do numbers for your head have anything to do with the plug for this? Uh... I should just do it. You might get it then. Stop avoiding the question! Do you even know what should go there? The numbers... The numbers are, um...
Okay. Kidding me? Your your ah! <sighs> Eric, it's been an hour. Did you just get used to it already? How can I? I mean, he's... It's a... It's a robot! For real? C could you maybe do something about it? Is this better? Yeah. Now the shape brings out your eyes. This doesn't freak you out or anything, at all. I could see the same to you. Well, I... Not much phases me. I'm just not that type. You could have been a Martian for all I care. Yeah, I was surprised when I first met I thought my heart was in my throat. You don't have a heart. Hey, hold on. Did you see when you first found out? I meant, it happened to me before. In the past. In another history. Uh, another? I remembered everything. When I saw what I looked like earlier. My brain isn't located in this head. My thought center is there, inside the quantum computer. That is where I think, perceive, and send command signals to this body. For example, when I raise my hand like this, it's simply receiving a command. Just like a remote controlled toy. Did you know? A quantum state is one where all possibilities overlap and coexist. This quantum computer then is able to use this state and run, say, simulations A, B, and C simultaneously. Basically, my brain is an infinite number of worlds and possibilities. So I can use that framework and, well, jump between other histories. There's no way that I could do that. But it's possible that you two might be undergoing the same thing. There's a theory. Human consciousness may be a result of quantum effects in the brain. It's called quantum mind. It's more or less suggesting a human brain is a form of quantum computer. If a specific set of conditions are met, then you too can... Jump to other histories? <laughs> this sounds like crazy talk. You don't believe me? Of course not! Oh, I don't blame you. I guess I should explain everything then. Please? Start at the beginning. Before I begin, I need to do one little thing. What did 
you just do? Uh, just a little something. Nothing changed. Huh. That we can see. But it looks like the message changed. Yes, I started up the system earlier. It says force quit program on standby. To initiate, two key items must be set. What does that even mean? Wait, it seems like there's something else. The key items are... A mother's mementos? I wonder what those could be. So, this is saying we need to find them? Does that mean they're hidden around here somewhere? Even if that's true? I don't think we have the time. Damn. Guess our time's up. It's time for you to sleep. When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. Pleasant dreams. Final decision. Memories we regained are true after all. The three wards were all in the same place. Then. Carlos! Akane, Junpei, and Mira, and Eric. And you're. Sean, right? Carlos, what happened? Proof of friendship. <laughs> anyway, what are you guys doing here? According to the schedule, C team and Q team should both still be asleep. We took a page out of your book and did what you did. We used the cards to keep the bracelet needle from injecting us. So, does that mean...? Yeah. I remember everything. I do, too. Junpei and I, as well. Um, over the past few hours, uh, we got back the memories we forgot. Well, to be more accurate, it's more like we accessed the morphogenetic field and downloaded all of them. Then... You have the other history's memories, too? Yes. Then you're like us. But why? Hold up. Eric and I are different. Yeah. We didn't gain memories from other histories. Then neither of you got injected? No. We're the same as Carlos and the others. I told them. Um, maybe I'll start from the beginning? First, so I could run the program in the force quit box, I accessed the central control computer. Then, I briefly turned off the communication network. That way, I stopped the surveillance cameras from sending any data to Zero. I didn't want Zero to catch on to what we were doing. And that's when Sean 
let us in on the truth of what's going on here. We went over to the transporter room and picked up two cards. Before the injection, we each slipped one between our wrist and bracelet. Okay, now you two make sense. But what about you, Sean? Well, you probably already know, but I'm a robot. Being injected does nothing to me. Then, every time the time limit approached, I was forced to go into sleep mode. Then, my memories from the previous 90 minutes were deleted. I didn't want that to happen, so... You remember me saying I accessed the computer? Oh, I hacked my own system, too. He said he managed to cancel the forced sleep and delete functions. What about C-Team, then? We couldn't interrupt the surveillance cameras, so we had to be sneaky instead. First, Carlos pushed me down and climbed on top of me. Oh. What? I, it, was, it, it was just an act. I was only pretending to do it. Carlos used that moment to whisper in my ear. He said to go to the transporter room and grab the cards in there. But, if I just let her go like that, it looks suspicious. So Junpei and I stayed behind to get Zero's undivided attention. I casually invited Junpei to the power room. You can see the result of our conversation. You should have told me what was up. If I had, then Zero would have figured it out. You... you look like you'd be a crap actor. Ugh. And after that? We met Akane in the lounge. We hid from the cameras and each got a card from her. Um, sorry, but could I get confirmation on something? Everyone knows what all happened in the other histories, right? Even you, Mira and Eric? Didn't Eric say so earlier? Sean told us everything. But wait. Why? Why what? Why do we know about the other histories? Well, that's probably... You want to know? zero you are free to call me by my given name which is Delta <sighs> there's no need to look so threatening you were the one who named me Diana it doesn't matter I shall answer your question Carlos Kane Junpei Diana, Phi, and Sigma. All six of you know that you are shifters, correct? Mm -hmm. Think back on your path to this very moment. Did you arrive in this history by following a normal flow of time? Hmm. No, of course you didn't. You jumped in from another history using your ship abilities. And it wasn't just this once. You have been shifting back for many, many times. From one point in space time to another. You boldly took chances, much like jumping from one tree branch to another. You have forgotten that fact, perhaps as a result of the medicine, or as one of the side effects of shifting. Regardless, 
Your memories have been kept firmly intact within the morphogenetic field. It is simply that the six of you regained the memories of those times. One small trigger and the levy preventing you from remembering collapsed. Sean is a similar case. However, his thought center is located within the quantum computer. So I suppose it's slightly different from you. What about me and Mira? You are both like me, in that we do not have the ability to shift. Well, you don't? I have another power instead. The power to mind hack. Mind hack? I am able to read other people's minds. I know the thoughts and ideas that go through their heads. That's why I know exactly what Phi is trying to do right now. Step away from that device, Phi. Then, when we blocked the injection... I saw through your rules. <sighs> then why did you... I wanted all of you to play the final decision game. The final decision game? I find human decisions fascinating. More specifically, the world branching that occurs as a result. I already mentioned that I am unable to shift. But after looking inside millions of minds, I learned one thing. There are people in this world with the ability to jump between histories. That shifters exist. Hence, why I know so much about these parallel worlds. You did all this because you were curious? When a person does something significant, it's difficult to boil the reason down to one word. Their motives are often very complex. It is the same now. To fulfill several objectives, it was necessary to trap all of you in here. So why did you do it? You want to know? It is so you give birth to Phi and myself, Diana. <laughs> You're like, what? What do you mean? Phi and I are the children of Diana and Sigma. Phi is... Wait. <laughs> They're children? Are they like November the same 16th, age? 2029. Phi and I were born in this shelter. This was another history, of course. Shortly after, the atomic data that makes up our bodies was transported to April 1904. The transporter was located in a German research facility at that time. Our bodies reconstructed and regenerated in the export pods at that facility. But that would mean you're actually... I'm 124. You're joking. But Phi is... A German researcher sent her to 2008. Records indicate that she was part of an experiment. You're saying Phi jumped back in time from 2029 to the year 1904? And then forward again to 2008? Technically, one was sent both times, simply the data maker 
this problem. I heard that in 2008, the bias was being studied in an American facility. <sighs> That's when an old couple who were researchers took me in. We've gone off topic. But yes, that was one of the major goals. Everything that occurred here helped create Phi and myself. And when I say that, I am including all of the other histories. If I hadn't trapped the group of you here, then Phi and I would have never been born in our current forms. Your current forms? Shaw, you should already know about epigenetics. You see, environmental factors determine which switches are activated within the genetic code. Reproductive cells are the same. Or perhaps I should say that the reproductive cells are the ones most affected. Oh, I get it. That's why you made Diana and Sigma play the decision game. What do you mean? By backing them into a crisis situation, he caused an epigenetic change within their reproductive cells. I think that's why their children were born with unique powers. Gold Star. This is the reason I have my mind hacking abilities. Five was affected as well. You were born a shifter. DT, do you recall what was written on your wall? When a curious hate oozes calamity. And rearranging the latter. Decisions will bring you to life. That is one of the decisions we have. So that the five me here now would materialize exactly the way we are. No, but okay. So I get why you had to have Diana and Sigma go through life or death decisions. But the rest of us had nothing to do with. I already told you. My motives are complex. What? Wait, there's more? Ah! Fuck you, you goddamn old man! Fuck, no! What? Oh no! The hell? What is this? <laughs> hey, answer me! What's with that announcement? Must I explain? This shelter will soon explode. You've worked so hard only to turn on this facility's self destruct mechanism. Sean? Access the central control computer. It's no use. Once the force quit program has been activated, there is no possible way for you to reverse it. 
Then what can we do? I will tell you one good, no, two good things. First, I suggest checking behind the bar counter. Oh. oh. No! Why would you? Gab. Aww. Gab's been. Did you kill Gab? Yes, with the shotgun you're holding. There wasn't much life left in him anyway. You monster! I never expected to hear that coming from you, Sean. So what's the other thing? You had two things to tell us. I have the ability to mind hack. We already know that! But I have not told you everything I want. Reading other people's thoughts isn't the only thing I can do with mind hacking. It only lasts a moment. But I am able to control someone's body as I wish. Like this. Understand now. This is my power. So, let's begin. Your final decision game. You have two choices. One, to stay here and wait to die. The, the other is... The, the other... What should we do? What about the X door? And how exactly should we open it? Unless six people die, it's gonna stay closed. Or should we start killing each other now? Mira? I have an idea. Which is? We're going to shift, all of us, together. Hey, hold on. Like, jumping to another history? But... Eric and I... I'm sure it will be fine. Remember what I said? Human consciousness may be a result of quantum effects in the brain. Oh, yeah. You said if certain conditions are met, we can also... What are the conditions? First, you need to be exposed to danger. And the other one is... To be in the vicinity of a group of shifters. I get it. We'll resonate, and then Mira and Eric can. But which history are we going to jump to? None of the similar histories will work. One team is likely to be dead after the vote. And we can't shift if there are no bodies for us to jump to, right? Then... We need to jump to where all of us are alive. When we're all alive? Do you mean... The history where we won the coin toss. Uh, 
I'm not sure I get it all, but it's a good idea. What are you saying? There's no way we could do that. Why not? Shift isn't simply jumping into bodies in different histories. Our consciousnesses swap places. Ours for theirs. We'll be forcing our other selves into these bodies and they'll die without knowing why. Yeah, and what's wrong with that? What? Well, they're all living without a care off in another history, yeah? One time? They do the coin toss once and win? Don't you think that's unfair? Mira, you're saying they, but we're talking about ourselves here. Well, we should consider if those people really are us. Good point. If we assume that we here are the true versions, then the us and the other history are essentially strangers. Even more of a reason not to. If we shift to that history, then we're tossing the others under the bus to save ourselves. The us in that history have done nothing wrong. I mean, the only thing they did was win at a coin toss. <sighs> you could say the same for us. The only thing we did was lose a coin toss. Even so, we've had to go through so much shit. We've been forced to put our lives on the line. Besides, aren't the bodies in the other histories ours anyway? Then why should we second guess ourselves? Huh. Um. Choices. We can stay here and wait for our death. I hate motorcycles. Just or drive past. By sacrificing our other selves in another history. That's bastard. Bit. Final decision game. Okay, so I'm going to choose to not shift um, just for the sake of like saving the good ending for last. 